staff, families, and friends, I am honored to be this year's valedictorian and have the privilege of speaking to all of you tonight. Well, we did it! <laughs> After 13 years of projects, assignments, tests, and even some tears, we finally made it. A lot has changed in 13 years. We're smarter, taller, older, and we can tell you in our sleep that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> I am so incredibly proud to have spent these past three years with you all, even those of you I haven't met, and I'm really going to miss seeing my friends and classmates every day. Everyone experiences high school differently. For me, Auburn was where I found my friends, my passions, and myself. The students of Auburn Drive have a lot to be proud of. We've accomplished some incredible things. We've brought outstanding school spirit to events like the Mascot Showdown and the Turkey Bowl, raised awareness for important issues with the Mental Health and Wellness Expo, made audiences laugh with the Stupid Sugar Show, we've hosted carnivals and pageants, cheered our sports teams to victory, tapped our feet at band concerts, achieved academic excellence, and so much more. I could go on for this entire graduation ceremony, but I only have five minutes. We all have a lot to be proud of, to be grateful for, and to celebrate. We've experienced a lot of joy, and unfortunately, sadness as well. I would like to take this moment to remember one of Auburn's finest eagles, Kylie Young, who passed away earlier this year. As anyone who met her can attest, she was a wonderful girl. She loved purple, dolphins, and making people smile, and I am lucky to have known her, if even for a brief period. I hope that we can all honor her memory tonight and in the future. <laughs> As you reflect on your high school experience, I hope that every time you spot some teal, or see an eagle, or hear that O Canada will not be played due to technical difficulties, that you'll think of Auburn and smile. We are all so lucky to go to Auburn, to, and to have the privilege to live in Canada, where we don't have to fight for our right to education. Not only do we get to wake up every morning and go to school, we get to participate in the countless clubs and teams that are offered at our school. So whether you're into sports, drama, visual arts, academics, comic books, or leadership, there's something for everyone. As Malala Yousafzai said, let us pick up our books and our pens. They are our most powerful weapons. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. We have all been given the gift of education. I hope that we can use it to make a positive difference, whether big or small, in the lives of others. I'm sure you all must feel the same way I do. I wouldn't be standing up on this stage if it weren't for some very important people who have helped me along every step of the way. First off, my family. I have to thank my mom and dad for supporting every decision I've made and encouraging me to follow my dreams and put my all into everything I do. To my siblings, thank you for always being down for a dance party and for quizzing me the night before a big test. I wouldn't be here without my friends. You know who you are. Thank you for making me laugh so hard I peed my pants and for always sticking by my side. Thank you to every teacher who challenged me. I'm looking at you, McMahon. You may all make me a better student and a better learner. I think I speak for everyone when I say I am so grateful for every teacher and staff member at this school for the countless hours you spend creating tests, fixing attendance, and marking. This place would not thrive if it weren't for all of your hard work. So whoever it is that has given you the encouragement and support you needed to make it to this point, your parents, grandparents, friend, cousin, teacher, make sure you give them a big thank you and a hug tonight. It's hard to remember my very first day of school, back at Colby Village Elementary when I was just a lowercase c. What I do remember is that my mom parted my hair in a zigzag, which I thought was really cool, and that I was super excited to meet new friends and play with them at recess. Well, I will always remember my last day of school very well. Now I'm 18, and my hair is no longer parted in a zigzag. Instead, I'm just trying really hard to let my bangs grow out. I'm not excited to play with new friends at recess. I'm just so excited to watch all of you succeed. I can't wait to see what all of you do in the future, to come back for our 10 year reunion and see the grown ups we've all become. To learn who's still in school, who's playing in the NBA, who's a parent, who did exactly what they said back in high school, and who changed their mind a million times along the way. So, everyone in this audience has the potential to do amazing things. We've completed the first step to achieving our dreams, and now it's time to take the next one. This may be the end of high school, but it is just the beginning of the rest of our lives. 
So whether your next step is college, university, the workforce, or anything else, the possibilities are endless. I urge you to take that step. It's probably going to be scary at first. Let me tell you, I'm terrified. But it will all be worth it. Class of 2016, it is time for us to move forward, to step out of our comfort zones and work our butts off, to achieve our wildest dreams and then some. So, to my fellow eagles, it is time to leave the nest. I had to put one eagle upon in this speech, just one. <laughs> to paraphrase Elias Yehudi, we should all have big dreams, full dreams, never half dreams. A full life cannot be achieved with small dreams. So, with that said, create the biggest dreams imaginable and chase them relentlessly. I thank you all for three years of memories, laughs, and friendship. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for Auburn Drive High School's class of 2016. Thank you.